Comic Relief is such a great cause and the community spirit here is so strong. The whole village gets involved. I've uh, done a sponsored beard shave and um, everyone's doing their bit. There's fundraising, right? And then there's too much fundraising. Yeah. Last Christmas they did Feeding the Homeless thing at the Village Hall and there was about 30 people volunteering. But there's only one homeless guy in the village, so everyone was just stood round watching Frank eat his food, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, but he was so self-conscious, he, he couldn't eat any. Yeah, and we saw him in the village later, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. And I go, f and he was, he was in the village and he was eating a banana skin out of a bin. I go, Frank, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm sorry, but I'm just so much more comfortable this way. Raising money. Raising money. Anyone have any change and don't want to be harsh? Len, spare any change, mate. Comment relief. Len. 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 I think it's wonderful that Kerry and Curtin are so passionate about comic relief. They can be a little bit overzealous at times, but it's just about channeling their enthusiasm in the right direction. Len, just bear this in mind, son, yeah? We ain't letting you out of this phone box till you give us some change, right, mate. Thanks. Yeah, mate. Yeah, you, you tight, tight get. get. Of course, some years that channeling is less successful than others, but this year I've got them running an orange squash store with Michael, which I think will be great. The squash stall isn't going as well as hoped uh, because slugs keep drinking all the squash. No one's that thirsty. This is just getting completely out of hand now. But I've come up with a really good idea um, that's going to raise us loads of money and people are going to actually really love. All right, Len. Yeah. Is this a place, uh, something about you can punch slugs? Yeah, all right. So it's five pound a punch or uh, three for a tenner? I'll do a tenner, yeah. Yeah, all right. You've got to join the back of Kudo first. Sorry, Len. OK, are we ready? Yeah. Great. Come on, Fruit. Right, how much do you want, love? I think, as a man of faith, that ultimately Comet Relief is a brilliant thing because it brings us all together. And Bigger. I can't think of anything more. Bigger! Honestly, you're going to cut your pipes to see how much money we raise. Wow, well done. Look, that, look how much that is. And that's not all of it, yeah. is that, that as well? That... This is an extraordinary amount yeah, of money. I know. You, you made all this from orange squash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's Michael? I, oh, he's just, he needed to lie down, I think, didn't he? Yeah. Where's Michael? Wait, what? Which Michael are you talking about? Which Michael? Happy birthday to you! If you're like me and have a strong dislike of socialising with your work colleagues, no offence, none taken. You'll probably hate Red Nose Day, but all's not lost. I'm going to show you how you can do your bit without having to bond with the office riffraff. Okay, now I'm offended. The sponsored silence is the perfect opportunity to avoid mindless chit-chat at work. Feels like a Wednesday, it's only Monday. Oh. Uh, OK. Yeah. Hello, mate. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, just at work, yeah. Can I borrow a stapler? To avoid asking for donations, simply position your collection bucket in the vicinity of your colleague's face and hold it there until the inevitable guilt sets in. Can I borrow a stapler there? Don't have one. Avoid having to socialise on your lunch break by doing a sponsored walk or jog. Ah, oh, sorry, Judith. I can't go for lunch today. I have to go for my sponsored jog. These idiots will believe literally anything. <laughs> Hello, Judith. On any given Red Nose Day, it's a mathematical certainty that sponge will be in abundance, known by its street name as cake. Oh, hang on. Get out of conversation to the bake sale by inserting as much of it in your mouth as is humanly possible. Have you ever tried to bake one? Do it during meetings, and you won't have to contribute to that pesky brainstorm either. Spibble some ideas about that, Tommy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Every Red Nose Day, the office rabble will almost certainly insist on adorning themselves in some kind of hilarious costumery. 
The best way to avoid speaking to people on fancy dress day is to wear something that gives off a subtle, don't talk to me vibe. Unbelievable. I've had a number of complaints today, Tom. Have you got any idea why people may have been offended? Because frankly, I'm struggling to come up with a reason why I shouldn't let you go. Well, it's not just the costume. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, and I just think when I talk to them, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, like I said in the email, we want this to be the best red nose day ever. Everybody's got to do something funny for money. So, what have you got? Hey, I've got loads of ideas. I'm an iconic hun after all. Something honey for money. Alison, it's something funny for money. Oh, right, I, I missed that one. Lenny, you could join me. I'm singing for 24 hours. Yes! I can't keep snogging people on the show. I've got to stop. Well, unless it was Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I'd, I'd snog him, yeah. Fancy another one? Yeah, just one. I'm at the Palladium doing the comedy gig. You know this! Ah, of course. So I was thinking I could do a sponsored silence for an episode of my oh. podcast. So it'd be like this. I am still workshopping ideas, <laughs> if I'm honest. Yes, yes, we're all ready for our three-legged race across Europe. Aren't we, love? <laughs> I've got it. I'm going to listen to Amanda Holden's covers album for a week, non-stop. What's that got to do with raising money? Um, well, it's definitely something funny. <laughs> hey, Lenny. Yeah, we're really excited. And don't worry, we're red nose ready. <laughs> Aren't we? Okay. Yeah. Gemma? Sorry, how did you get the GC's number? Any fundraising ideas? No. Well, I could do a bake sale, I suppose. Lenny, darling, I'm so excited for Red Nose Day. Actually, I'm just about to take off for my sponsored skydive. It really is rubbish at the moment, isn't it? What are we going to do? I've just had a no from Blue. Everything you suggest, the celebrities argue, is just no, 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 no. We need someone to just tell them what to do. I think I may know just the man. What's going on in here? We're trying to work out who's going to do what for comic relief. Just been told that Tennant and D have already left for Africa. They sidestepped the committee and went on their own steam. Disrespectful bastards. Okay, Davina, <laughs> you may not be live on Channel 4 anymore, but please do not swear. Sorry. Apology accepted. Look, we really need a little bit of order in here. These events are all about strategy. When we successfully pitched for the 2012 Olympics, we had a 10 point plan. Sorry, Lord Co, why is this relevant? Because that's how we won the 2012 bid. I'd love to see him on Let's Dance for Comic Relief, though. It's a good shout. I have been thinking of doing a duet with uh, GLS. That'd be huge. Big time. <laughs> That's a nice idea. I've been trying to do something with Tony Temper for a while. OK, can you guys start thinking about a song? Do you know what I mean, Gordon? I'm thinking, everybody in love, go and put your hands up. Everybody, everybody in, in love, love, just put your hands up. Put your hands up. If you're <laughs> waiting for it, put your hands up. Yeah, Tommy, all right, don't take the piss. Well, I may as well say my piece. I think it would be a fantastic opportunity to go to Africa. It's a once in a lifetime experience. I'd be thrilled to go. Right, that's great. Honestly, it's brilliant. And some people will want to see the bloke out of the Vicar of Dibley wandering around Kenya, yeah? But what everybody wants to see, eh, uh, is Trigger, Del Boy, Rodney, Raquel, Cassandra, yeah? The Jolly Boys out here. Boise giving it Molly. Molly this time next year, yeah. you'll be millionaires. I mean, they won't. You'll be giving them out Molly too, but still. You <laughs> brought <laughs> 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 Play it, cool <laughs> trick. <laughs> you did stay. You love that. <laughs> Everyone, why do only fools and horses work? So, what do you think? No. 
bit weird. Rio, what about you? I'd love to go. I, mean, uh, I feel I should. I'm from the same rough background as these kids. I understand their plight, but it's up to you guys. I mean, I, I don't know if I could if I could pull it off, but if you think I could do it, then then yeah. He's got over 300,000 people following him on Twitter. He's a popular guy. He's a businessman. He's got his own clothing line. He's got his own magazine, too. He is good friends with David Beckham, who, of course, I worked very closely with when we delivered the Olympic Games. Definite potential. Maybe you should. Maybe I should? What do you take me for? I've won the Champions League, the Premier League a few times. I was being humble. <laughs> of course I should go. Keep your pants on, Rio. Anybody in favour of Rio? One, two, three, four, five. He can't go. What? He can't cry on camera. Well, well, of course I can. I, I can. You can't. You know you can't. And if you can't cry, you can't go. She's got a point. Everybody knows that tears are the first rule of a good comic relief film. I, I can cry. I'm telling you, I can cry. Go on, then. We will need to see it. Gotta see those tears, my man. OK. All right. How to do this, man. Pathetic. Awful. Told you. Sorry, buddy. Just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> All right. So who is going? I'll go. She's going, I'm going. I'll definitely be there. Count me in. Very happy to go. I'm up for it, too. Yes, please. of course you are. To know I've helped just one child somewhere in the world. It makes it worthwhile. Good point. I believe that children are the future. Whitney Houston. All those in favour of Kira, say aye. She can't go. Why? Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but you're too good looking. Right? You'll be out there in a little white vest, sun on your back, it'll be sweat dripping down. People aren't going to be looking at the starving African you're holding in your arms. They'll be thinking, oh, look at him, the lucky bastard. He's got his hands all over her. I haven't thought of that. If you're too good looking, you can't go. JLS, I'm sorry, that includes you. You're out. Dermot, you're borderline. You see, I did tell you, in the 2012 meetings, we had a lot more order than this. Will you shut up about 2012? I know it might come as a shock to you, but some things aren't about the Olympics. <laughs> Tom, do you ever wear any clothes? <laughs> this is ridiculous. You know what? If anyone should go, it should be me. Yeah, sure, I'm not some big celebrity. I'm just a plumber. A handyman from Billericay. But that, that's exactly why I should go. I've got skills. I can actually help. I can go out there, drill some wells, put up a few shacks, install their Sky Plus. It's what I do. It's why I'm here. I can help those less fortunate than ourselves. And as I stand before you now, I love you, Smithy. <laughs> I say I'm Smithy. And I'm going to Africa. <sighs> That's great. <laughs> Biggest load of rubbish I've ever heard. I've kept quiet. I've heard what people have had to say. But you all know that the only person around this table who can go is me. I was in the biggest rock and roll band in the history of music. That's a bit disrespectful. In front of JLS. <laughs> Smith is stop. I've had a longer career than all of you put together. My music has touched millions of people around the world, and I am the last remaining Beatle. What about me? <laughs> I'm one of the last remaining Beatles. Anybody disagree? Well, that's decided. Nice one, Samaka. <laughs> You're doing this year's appeal film in Africa. Fair play. <laughs> right, is there anything else? Because I've got a mate waiting in the car. Good. Meeting adjourned.
Fancy a pint? Of course, bro. Let's bounce. How did it go? So Mac was doing the appeal film. Gordon Brown's rapping with JLS. Justin Bieber was on the keys. I think it was a good day's work. This year, Comic Relief decided to make a film about all the amazing Red Nose Day fundraisers. All right, Soon enough, word got out and, well, the auditions started rolling in. I'm here for the dance -a fundraiser. 24 hours, 48 hours, you name it. My stamina is off the roof. Pleased to see you uh, decided to cast the best member of McFly, obviously, you know, the one who won Strictly. Uh, not the one that got voted out early doors. Hello, I am... <laughs> Obviously, Joanna Lumley. And it's kind of quite sweet of you to get me here today, but you probably realise I don't have to audition for things anymore. So this is for the sponsored head shave. That'll, that'll be done in post, won't it? Obviously. I can't believe this. I thought I was auditioning for the next Bond. Not just another Red Nose Day thing. Has anyone ever pitched, like, be being a red nose for a week? Acting like a like a red nose, sort of. Does that look like two nostrils? I don't know. Has a banana ever won a BAFTA? I've got BAFTA after BAFTA after BAFTA. I've been nominated for Tonys. I can see why you wanted to cast me in this role, Michael, the champion of the bake sale. <laughs> Riyadh, the champion of MasterChef. It just, it just works, doesn't it? Look, okay, I, uh, I'm just keen to be involved, whatever. Like, I, I'll even do my own stunts, all right? Look, I can skydive. I'll skydive for you. Don't worry, everybody. Your romantic lead is here. Asian Hugh Grant in the building. I made Simon Cowell laugh. That has to count for something. Cue the wind machine. I'm still going. I have cabinets. I have a whole cottage filled with awards. I don't think that I have to audition anymore. I've actually uh, prepared a theme song for today's film. Can I get a flat white, please? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll start again. I'll start again. God, I made it 23 out of 24 hours. Did I get it? Did I get it? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you very much for your enthusiasm, everybody. But um, this isn't actually what we meant. <laughs> we meant the fantastic people at home who ever since we started this have been giving their time selflessly, their efforts tirelessly to raise money for people they don't know. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Daves, the official calendar. At last, all your favourite hot Daves in one sizzling calendar. Ah, that's hot. April will put a spring in your step with this tasty Easter treat, Fighty Dave. Ding dong, you're a knockout. Dave Hay, man meat. July's hunk is for women who love their men pale. Oh, it's Scott's Dave. Dave Tennant. The doctor will see you now. It's for charity. Let's try that again, Dave. Take two. The doctor will see you now. Oh, Dave, that's naughty. Hello, I'm Alan Partridge, and I love to laugh. <laughs> That's excellent. That's why I've been happy to get involved with comic relief down the years. From this occasion, when a hotly tipped young boxer thought he could have a bit of a dig at me. So I waited till he looked the other way and had a twat. Bang! To this occasion, when I did what I can only describe was a red sneeze. <laughs> I am so sorry. You've got flex on your wimple. But this year, the team at Comic Relief HQ called me with an even bigger proposal. They said, Alan, we've got a great idea. You in a hot air balloon shaped like a red nose, floating from London to Cornwall with Russell Howard and George Galloway. I said, I've got a better idea. I'll do a package of clips with a voiceover. <laughs> so join me as we enjoy some classic fundraising moments in Alan Partridge's Red Nose Day Stonkers. 
Ah, now, Red Nose Day 2015, a vintage year. And this chap, a man, is having his legs waxed, a procedure traditionally associated with a woman. Come on, that's funny, surely. I've only waxed myself completely smooth once on a school trip to Anglesey, uh, because some boys told me to. Alan Partridge's Red Nose Day Stonkers. Hang on, giants playing guitars. Don't worry, these are miniature guitars known as ukuleles. Ukuleles. The people playing are normal sized, or slightly shorter actually, this being the north of England, where their diets tend to contain slightly less protein due to lower wages. If you're struggling to make out the comic angle, there's a red wig there, and a woman dressed as a car park attendant there. Really funny, that. Alan Partridge's Red Nose Day Stonkers. What the heck is going on? Well, this is called gunging. And who doesn't love a bit of guns? Noel Edmonds has made a career from it, although he keeps the recipe close to his chest, uh, along with some of his tax arrangements. Alan Partridge's Red Nose Day Stonkers. Oh, now, this is wonderful. Beans in a bath. A real comic relief staple. Word of warning to anyone considering the beans thing. Uh, you will come out in a rash if you stay in beans too long. Never, ever fall asleep in beans. It will stain your skin uh, to look like what a, a very funny friend of mine once described as a slag's tan. The question now, of course, what to do with the beans? I believe these ones were recanned and donated to a food bank. I know people will grumble about hygiene because the beans have had a bath with a man, but uh, I'm sure if it was a young woman, some people would pay extra. Lady-flavoured beans. Alan Partridge's Red Nose Day Stonkers. Chris Christopherson here, no relation for comic relief. And he's off! Up, 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 up. Keep you up here. Of course, the inflatable sack within the ball uh, used to be made from a pig's bladder. These days, pig's bladders have been replaced with rubber inner tubes, which begs the question, what do they do with all the bladders? It's not like people eat them, not even the Chinese, and they love innards. I should send a few to Eamon Holmes, actually. Fry them up, splodge your kedge up. He wouldn't say no. I miss him. Knee, 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 knee. Right foot, right foot, don't shit you, put him off. Oh, that was brilliant. Classic keepy-uppy. And with that, it's back to the comedian. Bye!